Hi, and welcome to Volsung Stratagems. In this episode, it's all about Torvald's impervious shield. Love it, love it. Okay, so I'm joined by Lucas from MicroArt Studio. We have a we have a scenario set up here because yes. Torvalds is an interesting character in so much as he's a total pain in the butt, mm, he can especially be. for shooty uh, shooty troops and yes. stuff like that. So in this one, you're going to demonstrate to me how to kind of deal with that. Mm -hmm. So here you have uh, Torvald Newsgod. Yep. A golem uh -huh. and a lab assistant from the Inventor's Club. Yes. And up here are old Sir Zachary. Old Sir and, Zachary. And his grandson, Zachary the Third. Mm -hmm. uh, both chilling on, uh, on the uh, balcony and just wondering how to deal with the golem. Yes. The problem is now is the activation of the inventors. Right. So what Torvald tends to do is to just move into the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Just middle of the stuff. So with first action, we'll, he will go here. Yeah. Then he will cast a spell called uh, Shimmering, Shimmering Field. Shimmering Field, okay. Mm -hmm. So this spell costs a card. Yes. Torvald is a, 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 a hero who has a suit of diamonds. Uh -huh. So in order to cast all the spells that he wants to cast, he will require a lot of diamond cards. Yes. Uh, fortunately for this presentation, I have them. Uh -huh. and okay. So First, I will try to cast uh, the more important shield, uh -huh. which is the uh, Archantric Field. Archantric Field. Yep. Uh, it, uh, it is different from the Shimmering Field in the fact that it has two armor on top that of the ten wounds that uh, the other uh, shield also has. Okay. So, this uh, spell costs two cards, or a court card, uh -huh. uh, and since this is more important spell, I will try to cast it first, so that in case that I botch any dice rolls, I can discard some cards that I yet had, uh, have my, at my hand. Okay. So I will now discard a card mm -hmm. that is enough to pay for this spell. Yeah. Then I will roll for my magic ability, which mm -hmm. is four. Yeah. And I will roll the dice. Uh huh. Now, fortunately, I rolled two successes, yep. which is the difficulty of the spell. Mm -hmm. So right now, Every shooting at any model, uh, friend or foe, mm -hmm. uh, within six inches of uh, Torvald, mm -hmm. uh, will first uh, transfer the damage that, uh, that you deal to the shield. Okay. So all of those models will have additional 10 wounds and two armor that will, you have to go through uh, first. Wow. Right. Okay. This, this armor doesn't stack with the golem's armor, so okay. it isn't like the golem has now nine armor. Uh -huh. It is just on top of it. Okay, right. So now I will finish the activation with Torvald by moving a little bit farther so that mm -hmm. I am in cover yep. and casting the second spell. So this is the weaker version of the spell. This is Shimmering Field. And he can cast, well, obviously he can cast both of these. Okay. Yes. You cannot have two versions of the weaker one uh -huh. because you need to spend the cards to actually do this. Yep. But if you have the cards, you can be totally impervious. Mm -hmm. So now I have to roll the dice again. Yeah. It's magic ability four. Mm -hmm. So and I need two successes to succeed. Yeah. So I roll the dice. Two successes. Two successes. So I don't right. need to spend any of the cards I had in my hand. So now all of those models will have 20 wounds and two armor <laughs> on top of their normal wounds. So now, let, let me let me understand that. So before I can even get to their wounds, mm -hmm. I have to apply 20 wounds, but first deduct the two armor before uh, I can even well, apply the two. The two armor is deducted only from uh, the second 10 uh -huh. wounds. Yeah. So first you have 10 wounds without any armor, uh -huh. then you have 10 wounds with two armor, yeah. and only then, after you shut down both those fields, you can actually deal damage to the models inside. They're impervious. For all, pretty, for much. pretty much that, that's them impervious. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing is that this spell, unlike a lot of spells, doesn't end at the end of the turn. Ah, when does uh -huh. it end? When you kill Torvald. Oh, okay, so I'm now stuck with this throughout the entire, potentially throughout the entire game. Yes. Right, the Zacharies are there. Mm -hmm. How do they deal with this? Well, this is, this is quite tricky, because uh, you could easily shoot the field with uh, old 
uh, the young sir, uh, the young Zachary's uh, uh -huh. uh, elephant gun with strength ten. Yeah. So this would like shut down first field in one shot, mm -hmm. and then shut down most of the second field in the second shot. Yeah. The problem is the most. Uh, the most uh, dangerous model for you is this golem. Yes. Because if he gets down uh, up those stairs, mm -hmm. then he can tie you up. You, you will not be able to leave the melee, melee. Yeah. Yeah. So you really need to be able to deal with this golem uh, ad, uh, after you shut down those, this field. Yeah. Now, in order to shut down the field, you can shoot at any of those models mm -hmm. in the field. You cannot. You don't need to shoot at the Torvald. Right. Yeah. Okay. So and. Uh, it may be advantageous to actually target the model with least uh, reflex uh, skill. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, well, talk me through it and let's try it. Okay, so uh, the golem under the shield has seven points of armor. Mm -hmm. This means that if we leave Sir Zachary to the to the last, mm -hmm. he will and he will try to shoot at the golem. Due to his small caliber rule, he will have to deal with fourteen points of armor. Yes, because so his gun effectively doubles the armor yeah, of the Yeah, this opponent. is a BB yeah. gun, so there's no point in shooting at more targets. Yeah. So w we fire with him first, yes? Yes, we fire at him first, take, mm -hmm. uh, take uh, all the use of uh, his high gun skill mm -hmm. and just apply as many damage as we can to the shield without any armor. Okay, so we're shooting at the shield at mm -hmm. this point. And you're not shooting at Torvald, uh -huh. uh, because he now has a reflex of 3 plus 1 for cover, yep. but you're shooting at the golem. Despite the fact that, on the scheme of it, you, you, you could just not uh, damage him. Yes. You're just damaging the shield. But, but we don't care about the golem at the moment, mm -hmm. it's just the shield. Yep. Okay, so he has, uh, is it seven shots normally? Yes, it's seven. But he's elevated. And you are in close range. I'm in close range, so we get nine shots. Two, mm -hmm. four, six, eight, nine. The golem, on the other hand, has a reflex of two. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's all he that's would have. It. Right. He can he can dive to the ground, uh -huh. but then he will not be able to charge you. Okay. Well, so let's see what this. we've got here. So, um, and of course, I've dropped the dice because this is beast of war, and that's what I do. Um, I just got one. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five. Okay. Five. five versus one means you made uh, you just done uh, four critical hits. Mm -hmm. So with your strength of three. Yep. And plus four, it's seven points of damage to the shield without any armor. Mm -hmm. Now, do I try to boost that with my cards? Uh, you may. Mm -hmm. You may, just to shut down the first field. Yeah. And then try to deal with the second. So if I played, say, through two red cards or, say, three red cards, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have very many left, but if I played yeah. three red cards, that would take it to seven, eight, nine, ten, mm -hmm. and that would be enough to shut down the first shield, yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Normally, it would be great to save some cards for uh, young Zachary mm -hmm. because he's, he can't hit a barn door. But since you are elevated and already in close range, you will have four dice versus the Golem Smeagol too. Mm -hmm. So it's quite all right to spend the cards now. So with this, uh, this, these cards, mm -hmm. just shut down the first field. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next, then. Um... I get another shot though, don't I? Yes, you have two actions, you get yeah. another shot. Right, so same again. Yes, same again. I will okay. still not die for cover, so I will just roll two dice. I got two, two this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six this time. Okay, six versus two means you again did uh, four critical hits. Yeah. That is seven points of damage, mm -hmm. but this shield has armor of two. So it's five points of damage. Yes, but you double the armor. Ah, so it becomes four, which makes it four, five, six, three points of damage. Yes. So right. that leaves this shield at seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. this is your activation. Now this golem is gearing up to charge you. Yes. Yep. So if you just don't steal the activation now, it may tie up uh, young Zachary mm -hmm. and uh, you may be in some serious trouble. So, so at this point, I really need to try and win the activation. Mm -hmm. hmm, you can see why spending the cards at the appropriate point is is the way to go. Right. I of wouldn't... course, we'll try to fight for it. Yeah. Ah, uh, I just had a five of clubs. Okay, I've just mm -hmm. wasted an ace of spades against a five or an ace of uh, diamonds against that. Okay, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. But... So I've stolen it. Now mm -hmm. that means that I have the young Sir Zachary. Okay. Yeah. 
It's not night, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, um, first thing, so I, I think he's just going to... He gets two actions, yes, is that two correct? Actions, so, yes. Two actions. He's just going to shoot. Yep. Um, his gun is what? With the Torvald's shield, we are down to one field now, mm -hmm. with seven wounds left and two points of armor. Now, young Zachary has um, an elephant gun with strength of 10. Yeah. So if you score one critical hit, mm -hmm. you will actually shut down the field. Okay. But then you will have to deal with the golem. Mm. Right, so how many, how many dice does he roll normally then Normally for his you have two. So normally I have two. But again, you are elevated. Uh huh. And you are within 12 inches, which is and close I'm in range. short range. So I get four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the golem still has two. Yeah, so this is going to be quite tight. Yeah. So I need one, two, three. I've got two. Mm -hmm. Which means you uh, scored exactly one extra critical hit. Yes. So with this shot, with strength of 10, you shut down the field. Right. Okay, so that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Now I get one more shot though. Yep. So same thing again. Yes. Four now, dice now versus think two. Who you want to target? Because ah. this shoot, this shot, would normally kill almost any model outright. Yeah. You can kill the golem uh -huh. who is not yet activated. So he's attempting target, and he yeah. will most likely damage you. So he's a threat. Yeah. Yes, he's a threat. Thorvald, if you are playing an assassination scenario will be worth victory points. Yes. But let's not consider that. Torvald also has his personal shield, so three points of armor. So you see where this is going, where this is going with Torvald. Yeah. So let's just focus on the golem. Yeah, I think, I think the golem is the biggest threat yeah. to me just at this For moment. For now, so. we used two of the best shooters in the game yeah. to just shut down the field and you had to steal activation and spend three cards. Yeah. Uh, that's been quite painful actually mm -hmm. to try and deal with uh, Torvald so, uh, so far. Um, so how many wounds does the golem have? The golem has four wounds and mm -hmm. seven points of armor. So I have a lot of armor to get through, so, um, oh, I can't kill him. Well, I would need criticals to be able to yes. kill him. So let, let me just see how I do. So I think let's see. I will just One, two, up. three, lucky enough. I got two. So I get yep. one critical, yep. which but would mean that I'm... 10 normally, mm -hmm. the critical would take it to 11. Then we deduct the armor of 7, we deduct which them. leaves 4. Which leaves four. 4 is the exact number of wounds this model has. So now, you, with all those activations, all those shooting, you finally manage Killed to kill one golem. One golem. Yep. Torvalds is a machine. He is a very, very interesting character. And you can be dealing game. with the same combination of shields another turn. Right, well, uh, this is what I was about to ask. Uh, now they say that that's, that's me over. When it comes back around to Torvalds, can he cast them again? Ouch. Ouch. So you've got, you've got your work cut out for you with that guy. Okay. Well, guys, there you have it. That's uh, Torvalds Impervious Shield. We weren't joking when we said it was impervious. If you enjoyed that and you fancy seeing some more tactics, why not come on over to beastofwar.com because right now, we have the XLBS, that's the extra long backstage version of this show where we're looking at even more tactics. So head on over to beastofwar.com and be sure to check that out. In the meantime, why not post a comment or a question or an idea or something below? And myself and Lucas will pop in there and try and help out and answer as best we can. Other than that, we will see you again soon for some more Volsung Stratagems. I'll try to move this golem around. Uh huh. I will try to move him here. Yep. This way I get a bounce from yep. here to here and possibly here. Yep. So now I will try to move this golem uh -huh. around here. With seven inches, this is all up to one inch tall, so this yep. is all clear terrain. I get to move him six plus one here. Uh huh. And this is like no strikes on this line. Yep. 